Warning! This video contains frank discussion of matters of sexual morality. Just thought you might want to know. Hey! Welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're addressing the parts of the old law which remain valid and grave today, the Ten Commandments. So far, we've talked about the first five commandments, and now it's time to tackle the sixth, Thou shalt not commit adultery. This time, polygamy. What is it? Is it against the sixth commandment? Polygamy isn't defined in the Catechism, but the dictionary defines it as the practice or custom of having multiple spouses at once. To understand why polygamy is a lustful action, we just need to look at the criteria for lust again. 1. Lustful decisions always involve desiring a lesser aspect of sex, such as pleasure, more than a greater one. The greatest goods of sex, remember, are procreation, perfect unity with one's spouse, and total self-giving. Polygamy doesn't threaten procreation in any sense, but there are problems with the other two. For one thing, how can you have perfect unity with more than one person? For another, sex isn't a total gift of self if you're giving to more than one person, any more than you can give all of your money to more than one person. Therefore, criteria one is fulfilled. Two, lustful decisions always involve sex or sex-based motives on at least some level. Marriage is linked to sex and consummated by it, so anything that involves marriage involves sex. Criteria 2 is therefore fulfilled. 3. A lustful decision can be any action, word, or thought, as long as it conforms to these criteria. Polygamy is clearly an action, fulfilling criteria 3. Because it's lustful in nature, polygamy fails to show proper respect for one's wife. Ask any woman. Next time, incest. What does it mean? And is it against the Sixth Commandment? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.